camera number 215 of 365 is this uh, Yashica 230AF. It's uh, a camera that requires batteries to power all its operations. So let's go ahead and put some batteries which are housed in the uh, grip of the camera. So the battery is a single 2CR5 unit which is housed in the battery grip stroke holder and we just have to ensure that uh, the little uh, lip here, I don't know where you can see that, just here, it has to go into the corresponding lip. And then we can screw the uh, holder back into position. And then to turn the camera on, which it is already on, is this uh, slider switch at the top. So it's in lock position initially. The very top position is on. And uh, the middle one is uh, an auto exposure lock. So while we're on the top plate here, we might as well go through the various functions. You see the uh, liquid crystal display here on the right hand side. And then there's this rocker switch, which changes either aperture or shutter speed, depending on which uh, mode you're in. Then we have our shutter button, which is there. And then there is also a little button just here. I don't know if you can see that. A little grey one, which is uh, it's like a factory reset, sets it back to program mode. Program mode isn't shiftable, so the camera will make all the decisions regarding aperture and uh, shutter, pro uh, shutter, but uh, we can change the mode with this mode button here. So just toggling through the modes, let's just switch it back on. We have uh, program mode, and then uh, we have to hold the program mode and slide the, the uh, sw slider switch here, and then we can go through aperture priority, manual, and uh, shutter priority. So in shutter priority, the rocker also changes the shutter, sorry, the, um, uh, yes, the shutter speed. And then in aperture priority mode, it will change the aperture. And then in manual mode, it will change the shutter. There is a separate button on the front here, just there. You probably can't see it because it's all grey, uh, which also acts as the uh, aperture uh, mode dial, if you like, in conjunction with that uh, rocker switch. Uh, but it is also an autofocus lock as well. So we have auto exposure lock on the top, autofocus lock on the side here. So there really is quite a, a number of uh, features packed in to this camera. And uh, drive mode, we can go through uh, single servo, continuous servo, and uh, self timer. And then we have exposure compensation. Uh, autofocus can be set to a continuous autofocus or a single focus. And then we can change our ISO and also we can uh, have audible beeps as well. And we have uh, our self timer light there. Let's just see if we can get that to come up. Like Morse code, but uh, there we go. And then the lens uh, on this occasion, it's uh, a zoom lens, it's uh, 35 to 70 millimeter. And we take the lens off by pressing the lens release. Now, you notice uh, the lens release also has a red button, which is where we line up our red button on our lens. As far as the front goes, the only other switch is this uh, switch here that allows us to choose manual focus or autofocus. 
So to put the lens on, as I say, we have to match the red dot here with the red dot on the lens release. And unusually, I think, the on the barrel of the lens, rather than it being on the, the top here, where you read off your focal length, it's actually on the side, presumably because the flash occupies the top here. So our focus line, if you like, is there. So that's set at 35, then it's set at 50, and then it's set at 70, rather than right at the top. As I say, the flash kind of dominates the, uh, the top here. Uh, it does draw power from the camera, doesn't have its own battery, and uh, we can take it off. It has a lock button which you have to press and twist, and then it releases a little red, and then we can take uh, take that off. Rather retro, futuristic, retro-looking uh, device there. And so that's pretty much it. So it has quite a number of functions. It's predominantly made of plastic, but not an uh, unpleasant uh, experience. Quite uh, bulky, I suppose, because of the, the battery and also the wind-on meter. Uh, the, sorry, the wind-on mechanism. Uh, the camera will wind on the film and will then rewind the film when it's finished. We can, um, on the bottom here, we can have uh, mid-roll uh, release as well. So. so there we go. That is camera number 215 of 365.